South China Morning Post, 30th of March 2024, the IMF urges China to support Sri Lanka's debt restructuring as Prime Minister Gunavardena concludes his visit. China is morally culpable for Sri Lanka's economic misfortune and debt predicament. China has assured Sri Lanka of its continued support for restructuring the country's high-interest, high-debt system, according to a joint statement released as Sri Lankan Prime Minister Dinesh Gunavardena concluded a five-day visit to the country. China said in a Friday statement that it would support Sri Lanka's negotiations with its state-backed Chinese creditors without providing further details. The statement added that Beijing was prepared to continue supporting its financial institutions in their efforts to engage in active negotiations with Sri Lanka, maintain cordial relations with other creditors, and actively participate in the International Monetary Fund's efforts to aid Sri Lanka in its pursuit of financial relief. Sri Lanka, which declared bankruptcy in 2022 and halted repayments on approximately 83 billion US dollars in domestic and foreign loans after depleting its foreign reserves has China as its largest bilateral creditor. Before traveling south to Hainan province to speak at the Boao Forum, Gunavardena met with Chinese President Xi Jinping and Premier Li Chang in Beijing, where debt restructuring was the main topic of discussion. Colombo is trying to uphold a $2.9 billion IMF aid, which was extended contingent on the country restructuring its debts with foreign creditors and implementing measures to foster economic development. Sri Lanka announced in October that it and the Export-Import Bank of China had agreed to cover approximately $4.2 billion in outstanding debt. However, discussions with other significant Chinese lenders, such as the China Development Bank and some Chinese state enterprises, remained unreported. As of the conclusion of 2022, the debt stock owed by China to Sri Lanka had escalated to approximately $7.3 billion US dollars accounting for 19.6% of the public external debt of the island nation. According to a May 2018 Journal of Contemporary East Asia Studies article by Chulani Atanayaki of the National University of Singapore, the figure includes debts owed by both government-backed institutions and state-owned companies. The article was peer-reviewed. China also pledged to continue supporting Port City Colombo and the Hambantota Development Project, envisioning their transformation into flagship projects of the Sinosri along conjoint construction of the Belt and Road, initiative, Febcoso Joint Statement. Hambantota and its outstanding obligations to China have been subject to global scrutiny since Colombo transferred the 99-year lease of the strategically significant port to a venture led by China Merchants Port Holdings Company for US$1.1 billion US dollars in 2017. Given that the port at the southernmost point of Sri Lanka is a potential crucial maritime hub in the Indian Ocean, the action also infuriated India, a regional rival. China has refuted claims made by officials and Western media outlets that its investments in Sri Lanka's infrastructure are debt traps. In addition, the joint statement stated that China would encourage additional firms to invest in Sri Lanka. In contrast, Sri Lanka intended to grant Chinese firms preferential treatment when investing in the Colombo port city in Hambantota. President Xi emphasized China's assistance to the two initiatives in his Wednesday meeting with Gunal Vardena. According to the statement, China will also increase its imports of Sri Lankan goods, including tea, 